It's thought that asthma, arthritis, Crohn's disease, Alzheimer's, cancer, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol levels and Parkinson's disease, to name just a few, may all be related to chronic inflammation in the body. Inflammation is the body's natural defence against damaged cells, free radical damage, viruses, bacteria and foreign substances. Many different foods can trigger an immune response which then causes inflammation. So what kind of foods should we be eating to prevent this from happening? And also, what foods have the best anti-inflammatory properties? Let's hear as Dr. Michael Greger tells us more. So whole plant foods in general are anti-inflammatory foods, and the reason is because they're antioxidant foods. Part of the inflammatory response is basically free radicals. Even if you're not sitting in, uh, in a traffic jam breathing diesel fumes, um, it's a, our body naturally, even in a nice natural state, produces these free radicals just as a byproduct of metabolism. Um, and so we always have some level of oxidative stress, and those free radicals can alter proteins such that uh, they become kind of foreign to our bodies, and so we kind of mount an immune response. So there's this inflammatory response. That's why antioxidant-rich foods decrease inflammation within our bodies where antioxidants found almost exclusively in the plant kingdom some certainly way more than others iceberg lettuce probably on the bottom of the list bananas are pretty uh, weak as well in terms of the fruit kingdom so the healthiest most antioxidant rich foods in general berries the healthiest fruits dark green leafy vegetables the healthiest vegetables in general uh, these antioxidant compounds some of the most powerful ones are the plant pigments themselves so the beta carotene that makes sweet potatoes and cantaloupes and things yellow and orange lycopene the red pigment in tomatoes anthocyanin the kind of purple blue pigments found in many berries uh, the same chemical characteristic that gives these pigments those brilliant colors is the same one that allows them to snatch up these stray free radical electrons and have an antioxidant effect so eating the rainbow uh, a palette of uh, bright, colorful foods, Fruit Loops don't count, will uh, allow one to decrease inflammation, oxidation inflammation, and have an anti-inflammatory effect measured by such biomarkers as C-reactive protein, etc. Now, there are some plant foods that can increase that are pro-inflammatory, and those are refined grains. And so not whole grains, so whole grains, so for example, eat a bowl of oatmeal, and inflammation goes down in your body, but eat some Wonder Bread, so refined wheat product, for example, and it's actually pro-inflammatory. And so uh, that's why some of these vegans, you know, who are cutting out the, you know, meat, dairy, eggs, fine, but what are they doing is they're eating lots of these refined foods, these processed junk foods, but we want to center our diet around whole plant foods as much as possible. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up Leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.